Hobbs. And the big story today, Fight Forever finally has an official release date. I announced today Fight Forever will be released Thursday, June 29th. PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. And this was made via a video from Kenny Omega quite some time ago, he said. We announced our first foray into the video game world, AEW Fight Forever. We wanted to develop an arcade experience that was fun, easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. We believe AEW and our partners with Ukes have created just that experience. Rated T for Teen due to blood, violence, language, mild suggestive themes, and use of alcohol and tobacco. Okay. Following match types are included in the game. Singles matches, tag team, three-way, four-way, casino battle royal, falls count anywhere, unsanctioned lights out, and exploding barbed wire death matches. Why were you so surprised by that? There's a career mode, Brian Alvarez. Is he going to make the Sandman? How can you tell the career of the hangman Adam Page without him sitting at the bar, sitting there with a drink in his hand, maybe using that drink when he wrestles an unsanctioned lights-out match, which it says here in the press release allows use of weapons and, of course, lots of blood. Just tell me that they have that uh, create a wrestler function where I can make the Sandman and do all of my AEW dream matches with the Sandman. Is that possible? Did you have a... Sandman in his prime versus John Moxley? Don't tell me you don't want to see that match. Don't Might even tell me. Might be blood. He says, Tony Khan says, since our initial announcement, fans worldwide have shown unbridled passion around the launch of Fight Forever. Unbridled. That's passion That's good right word. there. Good yes. Word. They could not be bridled. No. They were so excited for this game. Fight Forever, Kenny and our world-class team have delivered an authentic, nostalgic feel, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, why, why am I even announcing this? Well, the video game was first announced in November of 2020. It is now May of 2023. It's been a long time mm. since they announced this. And the uh, fact of the matter is, this is potentially a real big money thing for AEW. They've been banking a lot on this video game. They invested a ton into this video game with the hopes that this video game was going to be a huge hit, which would result in a huge influx of income to AEW. So it would not be as important as, say, a television deal, but, you know, it, there's a lot of money at stake with this game. So they've been waiting almost three years since the announcement to have it released, and it's been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. But it's now time. So it's going to be very interesting to uh, follow the release, sales, what fans think about the game, if they announce another game for, uh, for somewhere down the road. But this is a big one financially for AEW. So... Uh, we can all hope for the best there. I haven't followed this intensely or anything. Has there been an estimate on how much they've put out to produce this game so far? I don't think there's actually been an estimate, but my my guess is like, you know, eight figures. Like a lot of money. A lot of money went into this, to my knowledge. Could be totally wrong about that, but that's the impression that I got. Well, and I guess this is one for the listeners, really, obviously, more than either one of us, but... What is good for a release of a game like this in the first? Can you make that money back? Like, what do games, and not talking about the biggest games in the world, what would a game to this level actually look to get in its main buying cycle? Seriously, because I have no idea at this point what actually, you know, gold or platinum would actually equate to when it comes to the gaming world. Now, also very important for AW is Wednesday. AW is considering a backup location for the debut edition of Collision. Daly's Place, Jacksonville, Florida, is being considered as a backup location. AW had originally set to launch the show at the United Center, Chicago, June 17th, but plans are currently up in the air due to a dispute between Punk and AEW. Dave wrote, AEW has had contact with Daly's Place as a possible backup location. This is not an official change. 
but it has appeared that the CM Punk situation has until Wednesday to go whichever way it goes, and if he's not appearing, then they won't go to the United Center. People involved with the proposed event said they were told yesterday about the show being possible and that a decision would be made over the next week. So they had a list of upcoming events, and uh, the Wednesday after, or maybe it's the Wednesday before, uh, it's the Wind Trust Arena. And so, you know, some people saw the announcement of the Wind Trust Arena, and they were like, well, I guess that means, you know, there's, there's no CM Punk. And in fact, that's not what that means, because their plan, their plan is they are going to run the Wind Trust Arena one way or the other. So if CM Punk decides he's going to do this or whatever the situation is, and, you know, he's he's on, then they're going to announce the United Center, and they would do both shows within a, you know, three- to five-day period or whatever. I can't remember if the Wind Trust is before or after. Someone probably remembers, but uh, it's either the Dynamite before or after. But that's that's the idea. So if Punk is not going to be on the debut collision, then they're not going to run the uh, United Center. They will run Daly's Place because they feel, and there's two things here. Number one, they feel that if Punk's return is advertised for the United Center, they're going to do great there, and then they'll do fine for the show at the Wind Trust Arena. But uh, if he's not there, I don't think they're confident at all of doing great numbers for the United Center and Wind Trust, you know, three to five days apart. The other issue, the other issue, and this is a big issue because of what they did last time when he debuted, if they announce the United Center, everybody is going to expect that the guy is going to be there. And if he's not going to be there, you're going to have some really, really unhappy people. So because of what happened the first time, you do not want to announce the United Center unless he's for sure going to be there. Now, last week, they were supposed to announce the United Center. They did not. They announced every single upcoming date and location, except that one, we will announce next week, which meant there were seven days to get everything figured out. And, uh, you know, not just figured out, but I don't know what the agreement is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But if Punk is confirmed for the show then on wednesday they are going to announce the united center and if he's not they're going to announce daily's place so that's how you're going to know what's going on if you ask me right now what they are going to announce on wednesday i shouldn't say anything but my presumption is that they're going to come to an agreement with punk and they are going to announce the united center this obviously C-I-G, obviously dork. could change okay you're gonna get lit up why for what i don't know my my gut is that they're gonna come to an agreement i just want to see it happen again but you know what's funny <laughs> is at the end of last uh wednesday's show the last thing i said on the show was my presumption is that they're going to announce him tonight and they didn't okay so uh yeah, i guess we'll said see you got presented on instagram that's what happened you can also find me at vincent Verhai. On Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft. And I g- go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Just, just stop You're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means. Your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of things. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos, I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial, I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not no, Tony, it's not and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.